please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. The news update at this hour. Melissa, I'll send it back to you. All right, Sue, thank you. Sue Herrera. Well, millennials, they travel a lot apparently, but the traditional hotel chains have been losing market share to sharing economy upstarts like Airbnb. So Marriott is launching several boutique hotels aiming to change that trend, including their first property in New York City aimed at young travelers. Seema Modi standing by in Times Square with a look at that story. Seema. Hi, Melissa. It may seem like I'm in a hostel, but I'm actually in Marriott's Moxie Times Square location, which is geared towards the millennial traveler. Take a look at this specific layout. Two bunk beds, including four twin-size beds, perfect for a group of girlfriends that have a weekend in New York, or perhaps four power lunch anchors. We'll get to that in a second. Now, Marriott conducted research and found that millennials do not use closets, so they took away the closet. Instead, you have wall pegs, which you can use to hang your clothes. You still have the big TV, plus some strategic use of the storage underneath the bed. If you walk this way with me, you'll see that you have the bathroom as well as the shower. You have the oversized rainfall shower head. So elements of luxury, but at an affordable price point, it starts at $139. The overall square footage, 220 square feet for this specific room. When I spoke to Marriott's executive vice president, he says the small size is intentional. You've seen the guest rooms, while very well appointed, are quite small, um, but a big, big focus on the public spaces in this hotel. Uh, and when you look at economic and demographic trends for the next generation of traveler, they want to be out in public. And for those who come here purely to grab a drink but decide last minute they want to spend the night, Moxie has a room called the Crash Pad, which guests can book only from the rooftop cocktail menu for $99. But guys, the competition is fierce. Marriott's main rival, Hilton, has launched two brands aimed at the millennial-minded, True and Canopy, Radisson's Red, Starwood's Aloft, plus Yotel, which recently got funding from Starwood Capital. And that's why a lot of travel experts say differentiation is key, especially when you have Airbnb in the mix. Most recent research from Skift shows that consumers between the ages of 25 and 34 prefer stay staying at an Airbnb over a hotel. And that's why, guys, social media campaigning and marketing will be really key, key for this younger travel uh, traveler audience. Back to you. All right, Seema, thank you. Seema Modi. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you hey. looked at the price, I mean, I don't know if I looked at bad dates. I just looked at random prices. The cheapest room, the room Seema was in, was three seventy nine a night. That, and but then you add people on people divide it up. So it's right. not bad. It's not bad. But then you got to add another hundred in taxes because it's New York. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Would you, a bunk? Would you sleep in a bunk bed? No. We're not the target audience. No, I know. Yes, clearly. <laughs> clearly <laughs> not. If it was the bunk bed or like a curb. Like, I would go for the bunk bed, yeah. <laughs> you, have, you have to go up to the rooftop bar to, to, to order the crash pad. Room. Well, that's why you end up in the bunk bed, is because you started at the rooftop bar. Up ahead, a Power Lunch exclusive with Goldman Sachs commodities guru Jeff Curry. We're going to talk about the part of the market he is benefiting on or betting on the most right now. Stick around.